We have trouble forgiving other people because we have trouble forgiving ourselves. There are certain things in your life that you need to forgive. It is a mistake you made that you can't go back and change. Maybe you fucked somebody over. Maybe you did break a heart. Maybe you did let somebody down and you still beat yourself up about it. So because you beat yourself up about some stuff that you can't go back and change, you choose to beat other people up about stuff that they can't get go back and change. So I want everybody to get in the culture of forgiving yourself. Learn how to forgive by forgiving yourself. Because it's, us, it's those boulders that we carry on that make it tough for us to walk away, walk in life. So that's, the, that's an important part of this uh, conversation that was missing. Midgets, motherfucking unicorns. The motherfuckers don't want to see a black man make it. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I'll tell you something else. I think forgiveness actually can be instantaneous. I think the problem often is that we keep making forgiveness a part of the conversation with access. Like, I can immediately say, I accept what happened for what it is. You violated. This is how I feel. And never talk to you again. I, I can make that decision and be mad the next day. I can make that decision and still be pressed for the next three months. The work that I have to do to be healthy after being transgressed has nothing to do with my ability to forgive the person. Like I can forgive you immediately and still have a lifetime of work to do because that's how trauma works. Like the, the healing doesn't come before forgiveness. Forgiveness is a decision to move forward despite whatever circumstance around you, you feel me? So when we when we had a conversation like, oh, what, how, how long, you talking about how long should I wait until I can be around this again? How long should I wait to, to, to feel safe around this person? That has nothing to do with forgiveness. But if you have to start asking yourself, how long should I wait to be around? You shouldn't. That ain't got nothing to do with forgiving nobody. You don't want me to be with you. You don't want me to be with someone else. How miserable do I have to be before you're happy? Oh, you got to forgive your mother and father. Mm. Mm. That's, that's good. good. Yeah, that's where it started, nigga. Yeah, yeah, everything started right there. You have mm -hmm. to forgive your mother and father for what, what they did or didn't do. Okay. Uh, it's not your fault uh, that you was asked to come. You didn't ask to be here. You don't have no choice of the matter, the conditions you was born in, the circumstances, or the situations. Mm -hmm. Forgive them because it's not for them. It's for you to be free in life. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness does not change the person that hurt you. Are you listening to me? Forgiveness doesn't change that person. Forgiveness changes you. Let's be honest for a moment. How many of you desperately desire change in your life? Forgiveness changes you. Guess what forgiveness does not do? Forgiveness does not mean you forget. One of the most crazy theories is that you forgive and forget. You don't forget, but you do have the opportunity to forgive every time you remember. There are some things in my life and there's some people in my life that every time I remember, I have to forgive them again. Forgiveness is not a one-time fix-all. Forgiveness is a daily sacrifice that I have to implement so that I can receive what it is that God has for me. If I don't put into practice forgiveness for those that have hurt me and those that have impacted me in a negative way, then I hold myself hostage to a prison that God never intended for me to stay put in. If you forgive a person, but you hang on to the anger, yeah. the pain, and the hurt, and you say you forgave the person, then you don't understand what forgiveness really is. Because she said it right. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. You ever turn down somebody who genuinely asks you to forgive them when they have wronged you. Don't walk away and say, nigga, I don't even hear that. Stand there, brother, and listen. Even if you don't believe it, listen. And if you see a change, go and tell him, I accept your forgiveness and embrace each other. You know why you should 
forgive and accept forgiveness because we all have wronged Allah and we all stand in need of his forgiveness and we will petition him before this is over to have mercy and to forgive us and if you expect God to forgive you then you should try practicing forgiving one another Peter asked Jesus how often should I forgive and Jesus said 70 times seven times that means infinity forgive you forgive white people ain't nobody did worse to us than them you should love God more than you like cash living the fast life of bring an end to your life fast worship the Lord he created the earth and heaven and please read John chapter 1 verse 7 and try to walk in the light nobody perfect brethren but I believe the words of Proverbs chapter 11 and I ain't trying to knock nobody else's religion I just opened up my eyes and I made a wise decision see Satan divide and conquer the conquer he need the vision but it's only one God it should only be one vision when you walk with God no strength is lost so keep walking when you talk with God no breath is lost so keep talking when you wait on God no time is lost so keep waiting some people hate but no love is lost keep hating the evil won't survive when my God defeats Satan the water's gonna roar and the mountains that keep shaking therefore to praise God what we here for the devil gonna try to stop you but God got you I just want to make this compilation real quick about forgiveness, you know. See, this is a subject brothers don't usually get on too much, you know. We talk about other subjects all the time, but I think this is time that uh, we need a little time to reflect sometime, you know. Think about uh, a lot of shit niggas have been through, you know what I'm saying, um, how far we niggas have made it. Not only that, um, try to get a little further, you know. Constantly keep going towards um, a path that is going to lead to righteousness and, you know, positivity and stuff like that. Try to uh, go towards that instead of going towards all the negative stuff and, you know, the bullshit. You know, we all can enjoy ourselves and have some fun times and party times and stuff like that. But always remember that there is a, a greater path, a greater goal that we're supposed to be try trying to strive to. And uh, whatever that get path is or goal is for you, you can go ahead and try to handle that. You know, every day take a take a day, uh, an hour out your day, and try to hit up whatever goal that you're trying to do. You know, always try to take time for yourself to uh, try to hit these goals, whatever you got a uh, plan for yourself, and try to make sure that shit get accomplished. You know, because uh, we go through a lot throughout life, and we didn't forgot about our goals and forget about stuff that we're trying to do and we just keep on striving you know we end up being a work ant and turning around and forget about stuff that we really want to accomplish so i want everybody to just reflect and take time for themselves and try to uh, figure out what's the best steps and path that they could take to uh, accomplish their goals and what they really want to do in their life you know and that comes with a little bit of forgiveness as well you know forgiving people that uh, stepped on you or hurt you or uh, took advantage of you when you were down or took advantage of you when you had something or whatever the case might be, you know. A lot of people can't be trusted anyway. It's just part of the game, you know. But if you could find somebody that you could actually trust and can handle some of your business plans and stuff like that, a, a collective, a good group effort and stuff like that, then yeah. Um, I always try to find good friends and in the world because there's good people in the world you know but always keep your guard up keep your shield up and your sword out because you never know when the enemy coming to attack you so i just wanted to make this video so everybody can you know take time to reflect on you know the more positive aspects of life you know we sit back and uh laugh and joke and and party about um you know a little bit of anything but sometimes we need to reflect and try to get on a more positive note and think of stuff that can actually uh, help us accomplish our goals that we want to do in life, you know, before, you know, the the bell rings. So I just wanted to, uh, to ha have everybody take their time and reflect and, you know, 
maybe this video will help you do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, silence is, is acceptance, and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.